MBR Acres is a facility that breeds dogs for scientific and medical research in the UK. At MBR, dogs are housed in groups according to age, sex and weight, ensuring that the dogs are well socialised. Their bedding is cleaned out on a daily basis. Toys, tunnels and platforms are available to provide an enriching environment. And dogs also have access to a play area, which contains a larger variety of toys and enrichment. Breeding animals for use in medical research is strictly regulated by the UK Home Office and dogs are monitored closely throughout the breeding process. During the pregnancy, the health of the mother and her unborn litter is monitored carefully. Ultrasounds are used to ensure that the litter is developing as expected. A couple of weeks before giving birth, she will be moved to a special maternity area. Here, soon-to-be mothers are housed individually in a quieter environment before giving birth. After giving birth, which is also known as whelping, the mother and her puppies have their own whelping area, which is specifically designed to keep them warm and comfortable. If required, Puppies may be bottle-fed or fostered with another female dog. Prior to weaning, puppies will be microchipped in the same manner as pet dogs. At eight weeks, puppies are weaned from their mother and housed in social groups with other dogs of the same sex and a similar size. If the dogs require veterinary care for any reason, a vet is available on call as required by law. At four to six months old, dogs will be moved to the main kennels, at which time they are ready to be used in medical research in the UK. Once dogs have been transported to a research facility, they will be given a period of adaptation allowing them to become familiar with their new environment before being used in any research. In the UK, research using dogs is strictly regulated and animal facilities are subject to regular, unannounced inspections from the UK Home Office. Dogs are one of the least used species in research and on average they are used in 0.2% of research each year in the United Kingdom. Due to the physiological similarities between us, dogs are primarily used in the field of safety research to find out how new drugs act within a whole living body and whether new medicines are safe enough to test in humans. Dogs predict this safety very well with up to 96% accuracy. Research in dogs has improved our understanding of serious genetic diseases such as Duchenne muscular dystrophy. It has also led to the discovery of insulin to treat diabetic patients. The development of blood transfusion procedures. And the creation of the electrical defibrillator that restores normal heart rhythm. Research involving dogs also contributes to new and safe veterinary medicines to improve the health of dogs and other animals. Most of the medicines we have available today have been developed using dogs. Research involving dogs has also led to many of the medicines and treatments available for our pet animals. In the UK, it is illegal to use animals for safety testing of cosmetics, household products and tobacco. 
by law, research using dogs can only happen when there is no effective non-animal method available and no other suitable species. Although development of alternative research methods is ongoing, currently there is no technology that can recreate the complexity of a whole living organism. Which is why the use of dogs remains an essential part of scientific, medical and veterinary research.